hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing this face for the very first time hello my name is judith cecilia but the channel name is the pretty gisilia as you can see <laughs> so guys i know i know i know you guys should relax honestly like i haven't posted for a very long time because i had a lot on my table honestly i really do have a lot i'm back with a very very interesting like interesting juicy video as always as usual this is my first video for the year i should have posted a very long time but please you guys should pardon me okay okay guys i'm back now and i'm back for good in today's video i'm going to be talking about products you need for anti-aging and hyperpigmentation the products i'm going to be listing today if you follow it the way i just listed and mentioned in this video trust me you are going to fight that aging signs and hyperpigmentation you have on your face believe me just follow this routine the way i am going to be listing it now and trust me in no time you are going to be looking 20 years younger than your age you heard that <laughs> So guys, anytime you are talking about fighting hyperpigmentation or aging, what you should have in mind is hydration. Yes, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Always hydrate your skin. You should be more focused on products that is going to do more of hydration to your skin than lightening, whitening and all that. That is our main focus in this video. You exfoliate, you hydrate. In this video, I'm going to be dividing it into two sections, the morning routine and the nighttime routine. So I'm going to be starting off with the morning routine. And the first one I'll be talking about in the morning routine is a gentle facial cleanser. <sighs> yeah, you need a gentle cleanser. If you know that the facial cleanser that you are using strips you off your skin natural moisture i don't think you're on the right track you need to drop that facial cleanser okay you need a cleanser that is going to help get rid of all the dead and guts on your face and still retain your skin moisture without ripping it off if you are using a gentle cleanser the cleanser you are using is okay for your skin do not bother changing it because Juscelia said eh, get a gentle cleanser and i recommend so so and so cleanser please if you know what you are using is working for you stick around with it okay so for those of us that don't have any choice of cleanser or you want someone that will help you make a choice of cleanser that you should buy that means you have me here the cleanser i'm going to be recommending for you in this video is the vani cream gentle facial cleanser this one right here it is a very nice gentle cleanser that you can get it is very very hydrating it doesn't dry out the skin and it does its job when it comes to taking rid of all the dead we have on our face okay the second one i'm going to be talking about is the CeraVe hydrating cream to foaming cleanser CeraVe has a lot of hydrating cleansers which we all might have heard about they always contain ceramides which are very very great when it comes to retaining moisture on the skin and the third one i'm going to be recommending is the cetaphil facial gentle facial cleanser this right here everything i'm saying just relax i'm going to be attaching a picture on the screen okay okay guys guys that is it for facial cleansers the next one we are going to be talking about is chemical exfoliation yes you need to exfoliate your skin and trust me it's high time you stop using physical scrubs on your face because they do more harm on the face than good so please if you know you are still using a physical scrub on your face this is the right time for you to stop because physical scrub can cause tears it can cause dryness and once there is dryness it's high probability that you are going to have pigmentations irritation dry skin and once your skin is too dry it is going to bring about unnecessary textured skin so guys these chemical exfoliants you can use them in form of serums and you can use them in form of tuners when it comes to serums any skin type or if you know your skin doesn't react easily i want to try out the ordinary aha bha peeling solution that is a very nice scrub to start with if you have tried it and it's worked for you keep on using it it's a very nice chemical exfoliant and 
if you haven't tried it before you just want to give it a try always make sure to conduct a patch test before you start using it on your face and please do not use it every day on your face two times a week is best for me and if you want to go extra you might want to make it three times a week but if you ask me i would advise you use it two times a week because a lot of things counts as exfoliation on the face if you want to use in form of a tuna you don't want to use it in a serum form you want to use it as a tuna then you can get all these ahas and bhas or pha exfoliating tuners yes they are very very good and if you know you have oily to acne prone skin i would advise you get a bha tuner like the salicylic acid tuner and the salicylic acid tuner i'm going to be recommending in this video is the polar's choice two percent salicylic acid facial tuner it is a very nice tuner and if you know you have a super sensitive skin please try out the lactic acid tuners or you try out lactic acid serum serums and tuners that has lactic acid as its active ingredient because lactic acids are very very mild and tender on the skin unlike the other ahas and bhas and if you know your skin is a very tough skin your skin can tolerate it can give tolerance to any kind of product then you might want to try out this glycolic acid is a more potent and more strong exfoliant but it's not going to be great for acne prone skin or a sensitive skin so please if you know that is your skin type stay clear from glycolic acids okay next one we are going to be talking about is the antioxidants i have talked a lot about antioxidant and trust me if you are fighting signs of aging hyperpigmentation fine lines wrinkles dark spots blemishes breakout trust me you need antioxidants in your skincare routine and that brings me to the popular antioxidant we all talk about which is the vitamin c vitamin c is a very very good popular antioxidant that helps us that helps protect the skin and helps it fight all these free radicals whenever we go under the sun so please you might want to get yourself any vitamin c serum it is really important because it will help to find any visible signs of agents like wrinkles fine lines saggy skin and things like that okay and the vitamin c serum i'm going to be recommending based on most affordable one is the dr rachel vitamin c face serum i talked a lot about this dr rachel vitamin c face serum so you might want to get that it is quite affordable and it still contains hyaluronic acid which is very very great when it comes to hydrating the skin another vitamin c serum that i am going to be recommending in this video is the advanced clinicals vitamin c serum they have a lot of them you can try the timeless vitamin c serum you can also try out the balanced active vitamin c serum all these vitamin c serums are very nice i think i should make a video on vitamin c serum reviewing vitamin c serum their percentages and the one that will work best for your skin type if you know that is going to interest you please let me know in the comment section below and i'm going to film that video okay when it comes to face moisturizer i am not talking about face creams or thick lotions that is going to clog your pores that's going to feel heavy on your skin no what i mean is a face lotion or a face cream that contains more of hydrating ingredients and that will bring me to recommending the elf holy hydration face cream this one right here honestly this face cream is a bomb i tell you this face cream it contains vitamin b5 which is great when it comes to brightening out the skin it contains squalene which improves the skin elasticity it also contains peptide which helps in improving the production of collagen on our skin and it also contains hyaluronic acid which is the holy grail for hydration and a plumpy firm looking skin so this elf holy hydration face cream is the bomb try it out you are going to love it i promise you and the next one i'm going to be recommending is this costa rest snail machine face cream i don't know if i got the name right but still i will leave a picture on the screen this face cream is also good and great when it comes to hydrating the skin so guys the last one i'm going to be talking for morning skincare routine you guys should know i'm sure someone have already mentioned this while watching this video that is sunscreen you need sun protecting factor yes it is very very important after going through all this process you need something that's going to help keep all of them in place 
and help it do the work it is supposed to do okay and the spf i'm going to be recommending in this video is this coarse sun cut sunscreen it is quite affordable for a sunscreen and it doesn't feel greasy or leave that greasy look on the face it doesn't do so the next one i'm going to be recommending is the skin aqua sunscreen very nice as well i also use that and it is great for any skin type it is not going to break you out it is not going to leave any white cast of any salt on your face they have varieties of sunscreen that doesn't leave white cast the choice is yours okay i'm just recommending hey guys that is it for morning skincare routine i'm sure you guys understood everything i said a recap for what i just said you have to cleanse exfoliate add your serums which is your antioxidant serums you moisturize your face and then lock everything and keep everything in place with your sunscreen okay okay guys so over to our nighttime skincare routine before i will start guys if you know you have been enjoying this video if you know you're still watching this video up until this point please give me a thumbs up comment on my videos and if you haven't subscribed to join this amazing family yet why not subscribe okay click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell just so you get notified anytime i upload wonderful videos like this so guys the first thing i'm going to be talking about when it comes to nighttime skincare routine is you need to double cleanse yes after going out with your makeups or you have your sunscreen on when you come back at night you definitely need to double cleanse just so you can be able to get rid of all those things you have on your face so that none of them is going to go clog your pores after double cleansing the next thing you will like to incorporate in your skincare routine if you are fighting aging and hyperpigmentation is retinoids retinoids are very very good and when you don't use it the way you are to use it trust me it can do more harm than good so you have to follow the steps that i'm about to tell you now just so you don't have any problem whatsoever with retinoid and mind you you might still want to consult a dermatologist do not use retinoid directly on your face like after double cleansing you just go in with your retinoid immediately no after double cleansing go in with your moisturizer or if you have any hydrating serum or hydrating essence you might want to use it first after using that you then go in with your retinoid after using the retinoid applying it on your face you then go in with your moisturizer again moisturize apply retinoid and moisturize again that is the key to use retinoid without having problems because retinoid can be drying it can dry out the skin trust me but the advantage is it's still also nice retinoid is very very great when it comes to fighting visible signs of aging like fine lines wrinkles saggy skin sunburn acne all these stuff like all this nyama nyama on the face retinoids are also good like they are very good when it comes to treating those skin problems especially anti-aging and hyperpigmentation and that is our main topic for today's video so please incorporate retinoid in your nighttime skincare routine if you are fighting any of these okay and another thing i would love to say if you are using retinoid is that if you are still new to retinol you just started using retinol please use it in a lower percentage do not use retinol in a very high percentage start with a lower percentage and the retinol that i'm going to be recommending in this video is this one from CeraVe the CeraVe skin renewing facial serum is a very very nice one you can give it a try it has two retinol CeraVe has two retinol they have the one for acne blemishes acne scars and all that and they have the one for anti-aging so this skin renewing one if you know you are fighting anti-aging so if you know your your target is anti-aging and hyperpigmentation go for this CeraVe skin renewing facial serum it is very very nice option to start with they have varieties of them so you may as well want to get any of them okay okay guys and another thing they have face moisturizers that contains retinoid in them if you know that is the kind of face moisturizer that you are using no need of putting on a moisturizer on your face before using that retinoid moisturizer and then moisturizer again no you can just use it but why i am saying is if you have a separate retinoid serum and a separate moisturizer you have to go in with your moisturizer first then use your retinol and your moisturizer 
after that you can now happily go to bed and wake up with a very plumpy gorgeous beautiful hydrated looking skin okay okay guys so also a recap for the nighttime routine you double cleanse double cleansing you can use the gentle cleansers i mentioned earlier you can as well use them at night okay it doesn't mean you double cleanse after double cleansing you go in with your moisturizer or your hydrating serum or hydrating essence you go in with it after that go in with your retinoid after retinoid comes your moisturizer again okay i hope i was able to clear someone and help someone that is in need of all these things i mentioned in this video so guys if you know you really do enjoy this video please give me a huge thumbs up comment on my videos share these videos to your friends and family make this video get to people that need this video okay and the last but not the least please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe guys subscribe i want to get more subscribers that will make me feel like people enjoy my video people values my video people values the content that i create and that gives me more courage to keep on creating good and better content for you guys so guys this is going to be it for this video i'm going to see you guys in my next video until then you guys should stay safe stay blessed i love you guys bye